what's going on guys uh, i got a short video for y'all um had a check engine light come on it was for um the ccv filter restriction and crankshaft position sensor wasn't reading right so um when i bought this truck it's basically tuned and deleted the only thing is the ccv was only like two-thirds of the way deleted and what i mean by that is they had the hose cut it was plugged off going to the turbo so there's no oil going to the turbo and the ho they put heater hose coming out of the vent and going down and it's coming down right around right there so that's coming out of my ccv that hose with the black zip tie i need to cut that end but um so the only thing was the filter wasn't gutted so i went ahead and took care of that but the other thing is right right there with the blue dot white connector black connector and a blue dot that is the crankshaft position sensor this is an 08 uh, 67 cummins so um it's real easy sometimes they just get dirty and shit and you can check them you just pop them out and clean them off put a little bit of oil in the o-ring and collar good but if it doesn't fix it and you just buy a new one anywhere from 25 to like 50 bucks you can get a new sensor from a part store this one was from AutoZone. i didn't they didn't have to ship it or nothing it was they already had it in stock so they say it's either a five millimeter uh allen it's hard to see but right there to the right of that blue dot there's an allen head screw um they say it's a five millimeters what i heard on youtube but i was able to make it work with a 532nd allen and it worked fine. I just put it on a little extension with a quarter inch drive. You're gonna be rubbing this line right here. And try to do it when the engine's cool because I was burning the shit out of my hand just now doing it on the block and on this line. But uh, to make it easy for you, you have this uh, fan connector right here. And all you gotta do is just right there. Ding! You just push down on that like that and they pull right apart and then you can tuck the top part you can tuck it up in here in this little cutout and then you can take this bottom part and you can just leave it hanging or you can tuck it up under here just don't mess up your wires but they're pretty good um so yeah so you can get that out of your way um five thirty seconds or a uh, five millimeter allen key to get that screw out and then you just grab on it and wiggle it and pull it out and then you just pop the new one in plug everything back in should be good to go i have a hs mini max tuner so i'm gonna go in there and delete the codes well i guess i'll show you all for anybody that doesn't know or if they have one of these and they don't know how it works because i'll be honest with you i've never had a diesel before i got this one and it had this hs mini max already in it didn't know what it was or how it worked there was a cable hanging down here it looks like obd2 but i didn't want to i didn't know what it was so we got smart and found out one's male, one's female, plugged it in there. So now, when you turn the key, there she is. So all you do, once you're in here, and it tells you everything um, on the screen as you do it, but like I said, no one was here to tell me. I had to figure all this out on my own. So basically you're gonna go up and hit menu it's got all your different testing gauge setups stuff like that hit down twice diagnostics hit that key must be in the run position with the engine not running to check and clear DTC codes okay so engine is off keys in the run position so we're gonna go ahead and hit continue would you like to scan the engine or the transmission I know I've been checking them already today, so I know it was just engine code. So we're going to go ahead and click engine, establishing communication, it'll flash all your, oh, I guess I cleared it so it's not there, but I'm going to clear it again, just to make sure. But so you clear it, and so now when I cut it on, it should be good to go, and it says it was successfully erased, so we can go back, and just for shits and giggles, we'll go back again, continue. Check the transmission just to make sure there's no codes there. Shouldn't be, like I said, I've been checking. Yep, all clear. And it asks you like, hey, even though it's empty, uh, you wanna go ahead and clear them? 
Yes, because a lot of guys that have these tuners and deletes and stuff, you have your overhead display. As soon as you turn on the key and whatnot, like actually turn it on and everything, and then every 10, 15, 20 minutes, however often it is going down the road, you'll get a dinging noise and it'll pop up, service required, see dealer now. Um, if you clear your codes this way, it'll work. There's also another way with like hitting the brake pedal and the gas pedal and honking three times and calling your uncle or something, but I don't do that one. I don't know it. I haven't watched that video enough times, but I'll probably go back one day and do that. But for now, we are good to go. Appreciate y'all.